everyone and welcome if you're new here my name is Christina if you're not new here my name is still Christina but I'm really glad to have you back today's video is going to be an Oscars video I'm going to be watching the Oscars in hopes that Michelle Yeoh and everybody from everything everywhere all at once wins and if they don't I'm going to freaking riot so stick around have some fun with me and let's see my reactions. All right. All those years of searching have brought me here to you. And the Oscar goes to Kiwi Kwan. It's so deserving. My mom is 84 years old and she's at home watching. Mom, I just want an Oscar. Oh my God. My journey started on a boat. I spent a year in a refugee camp and somehow I ended up here on Hollywood's biggest stage. Thank you to my mom for the sacrifices she made to get me here. To my little brother, who calls me every day just to remind me to take good care of myself. I love you, brother. Jamie, Michelle, dreams are something you have to believe in. I almost gave up on mine. To all of you out there, please keep your dreams alive. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I am so happy for him. Jamie Lee Curtis, everything, everywhere, all at once. Now you may only see a pile of boring forms, but I see a story. It does not look good. Stephanie Shu, everything, everywhere, all at once. Let me go. And the Oscar goes to Jamie Lee Curtis. <laughs> Jamie Lee Curtis made her big screen debut in the horror classic Halloween. 45 years later, she was an executive producer on the final installment, Halloween what? Ends. What? What? To all of the people who have supported the genre movies that I have made for all these years, thousands and hundreds of thousands of people. We just won an Oscar together. My mother and my father were both nominated for Oscars. I just won an Oscar. Michelle Yeoh, everything, everywhere, all at once. Maybe there is something out there, something that explains why, no matter what, I still want to be here with you. I will always want to be here with you. And the Oscar goes to Michelle Yeoh. Yes! <laughs> As a child, Michelle Yeoh studied to become a ballet dancer, and despite her illustrious career in action films, has no formal Fuck training yes. in martial arts. Oh my god, I waited three hours for this shit. <laughs> oh my god. <sighs> Thank you. Thank you for all the little boys and girls who look like me watching tonight. This is a beacon of hope and possibilities. And ladies, don't let anybody tell you you are ever past your prime. <laughs> Never give up. <laughs> I have to dedicate this to my mom, all the moms in the world, because they are really the superheroes. And without them, none of us will be here tonight. <laughs> oh, it, she's 84, and I'm taking this home to her. Thank you. Thank you. 
Thank you to the Academy. This is history in the making. Thank you. I'm so fucking happy for this woman. <laughs> she is the second woman woman of color to win. Halle Berry was the first. There are way too many movies nominated here. And the Oscar goes to everything. <laughs> everywhere, all of them. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> nominated for 11 Academy Awards. Everything, everywhere, all at once. Won seven Oscars tonight. Seven wins out of 11 nominations. I never thought I would get to say this, so I say it with one voice with all these people. Thank you to the Academy. I don't know who you are. Just no person is more important than profits, and no one is more important than anyone else. Daniels, I don't know what to say. I love you guys. <laughs> <laughs> you just won Best Picture. Thank you. Everyone have a good night. Thank you for watching. <laughs> I mean, like, you would think that I was somehow associated with this movie, but I... <laughs> Everything, everywhere, all at once is one of the best movies I've ever seen in my entire life. It was so beautiful and so crazy and so weird and so touching and heartbreaking. And it hit a lot of people on different levels for different reasons, but it hit me on two different levels. And the fact that I'm, I'm gay, the acceptance Michelle Yeoh's character at the end of her daughter it was beautiful and my relationship with my mom and i think it's a lot of a lot of um girls women's relationships with their moms you know you have your ups and downs and you have your your moments and that last scene was beautiful and beautifully acted that beautiful 60 year old woman <laughs> acted like five different genres in one movie. I'm so happy for her. I'm so happy for that movie. <laughs> the, this, this, this crazy movie that like you would think nobody would care about that ended up to be this huge phenomenon where people were actually feeling seen and it's just a beautiful story. The one gripe I have is that Stephanie Hsu, who played Joy, aka Jobu, didn't win anything. Every award show that has happened, she was nominated and she never won. And that really upsets me because she was a powerhouse and she deserved an award. I am so happy for this movie. I am so happy for the actors. I am so happy for everybody involved in it. I can't believe I watched the Oscars for actually three and a half almost four hours just to wait for the end to see if Michelle Yeoh would win. I'm shocked that Jamie Lee Curtis won. I'm so happy for her, but I'm also a little upset because, I mean, I am 100% Jamie Lee Stan, but when it comes to that category and those women, and don't hate me for saying this, but it should have gone to Angela Bassett or Stephanie Hsu. Jamie Lee Curtis has had a massive career and doesn't get recognition in in the awards parts and you know, because of the horror genre. It's nice to see that she was acknowledged because she was great in that movie. Eleven nominations, seven wins. They <laughs> The little movie that could swept the fucking Oscars. I've never cared, really cared about award shows before. The fact that I actually sat through this fucking thing shows you how much I I care about this movie and the people involved in it. But yeah, guys, tell me what you thought of the Oscars, what you thought of the winners, and tell me who you think should have won. If you agree with who won. I can't believe I cried over this shit. I don't know why I'm still wearing this. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for taking the time of your day. I hope you enjoyed this reaction to the 2023 Oscars. Let's have a chat below in the comments. Let's talk. I'm so glad I don't have to riot. <laughs> Anyways, I will see you guys in the next one.